blood clotting normally the blood is in fluid state after injury 3 to 6 minutes after injury in that injured location it becomes a jelly like mass and that process is called as blood clotting blood clotting is the third mechanism involving hemostasis and there are a number of factors which are useful in blood clotting originally 13 but now 6 is omitted so we have got 12 blood clotting factors a certain chemicals which are used in blood clotting are called as blood clotting factors blood clotting factors Factor number one, fibrinogen of plasma. Fibrinogen is a protein produced in liver and uh, it is inactive when it is released into blood. I am speaking about the fibrinogen present in plasma, I am not speaking about fibrinogen present inside the liver. So fibrinogen present in plasma. Prothrombin of plasma. That's factor number three. Fact, factor number two. That's factor number three is tissue thromboplastin. Also called tissue fat. tissue thromboplastin also called tissue fat calcium ions of plasma factor number 4 fact number 5 is labile fat also called proaxillarin also called accelerator globulin factor number 6 is stable fact also called pro converting that's factor number 7 Factor number 6 is omitted, now it's factor number 7. Factor number 7 is stable factor or pro-converting. Factor number 8, anti-hemophilic factor A. Factor number 9, anti-hemophilic factor B also called Christmas factor. Also called plasma thromboplastin component. Factor number 10, Stuart Prover factor. Factor number 11, anti-hemophilic factor C, also called plasma thromboplastin antecedent. Factor number 12, is Hegman's factor. Factor number 13 is fibrin stabilizing factor. So we have got a total of 12 factors. Factor number 6 has been omitted now. 
Factor number one is fibrinogen of plasma. Factor number two is prothrombin of plasma. Factor number three, tissue thromboplastin or tissue factor. Factor number four, calcium ions of plasma. Factor number five, labile factor, also called proaxillary, also called accelerator globally. Factor number seven is stable factor, also called proconvertin. Factor number eight, anti-hemophilic factor A. Factor number nine, anti-hemophilic factor B, also called Christmas factor, also called plasma thromboplastin component. Factor number 10 is toward proor factor. Factor number 11, anti-hemophilic factor C, also called plasma thromboplastin antecedent. Factor number 12 is Hegman's factor. And factor number 13 is fibrin stabilizing factor. So these are the various blood clotting factors. Now most of these blood clotting factors are actually proteins and they are in the form of enzymes. Having said that, there are, there are actually most of them, they are in the form of pro-enzymes. When they are released, they are inactive, pro-inactive. Now since they are inactive, supposing this is inactive, this should be activated. So all these are inactive. So gradually one enzyme which is inactive is activated by another. It goes and activates the second one. So pro-enzyme to enzyme conversion, the cascade of reactions occur. And finally a blood clot is formed. Yeah? So these are the clotting factors which are involved in blood clotting. We will see the underlying mechanism underlying the blood clotting.